Easy. Okay. I'm in ramp mode today. Have you ever heard the phrase that definition of insanity is repeating the same experiment over and over again and expecting a different result? Hmm? Well, will somebody try telling the Democrats that in America? Because if you remember a year ago, this is a, a story that hit me quite hard, was the story of Brett Kavanagh. Now, I've gone into that uh, on another video, which I'll link to in the description box in case you haven't seen it already. Uh, but, of course, that he was put under some very uh, nasty um, false allegations and um, the result of that was the best possible outcome that could have been and the fact that the the, the leftist that uh, tried to smear him with those disgraceful accusations didn't win. Well, it would appear that they're not done with Brett Kavanagh just yet. The, a story now in the New York Times of all places has said that Brett Kavanagh now has exposed himself uh, to a woman at a party about 30 years ago. But is the punchline the alleged victim to this? Don't know anything about it. No recollection of the incident ever taking place. So clearly the New York Times haven't done the most important thing that all journalists should do, and that's a thing called fact-checking. But instead of doing the fact checking and sort of saying, oh shit, we kind of got that wrong there, best not run with that story, they've decided to put out the story and then come up with all sorts of bullshit excuses as to why they put out the story. And now, of course, you've got all the uh, the Trump haters and all the uh, conservative haters are now back to doing exactly what they were and they're now calling for the guy's impeachment. What is it with these... Democrats, they're obsessed with impeachment. They, they want, they, they started to, to try and impeach Trump on ridiculous charges now, that the fact that he's been cleared of any collusion with Russia. But of course, the Mueller report just left a few crumbs there on the way out to say that he didn't, that they can't be sure that he didn't obstruct justice. If there were no collusion, there's no crime. So therefore, there's no obstruction. But anyway, back to Back to Kavanaugh. Now they want Kavanaugh impeached now. And what's worse with all this is that you have got leading Democrats. And I'm talking people who are now running for the 2020 president. They are now joining in with this and saying that Kavanaugh has to be impeached. What's the matter with these people? You know, this is... This is beyond outrageous. Do they not understand what they are doing to another human being? I mean, I'm hoping now that Kavanaugh is seeing this for the ridiculousness that it is and having a good little laugh about it, but I can't help but think that the guy is under just so much stress. And don't forget, he's got two young daughters to think about. But I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to put the guy under so much stress that he just says, do you know what, to hell with this. I'm out of here. I don't have to put up with this shit. I didn't sign up for this shit. But so far, to his credit, he's resisted doing that. And that's why at the minute I have a lot of respect for this guy. Um, because he, he, he's deciding not to give them what they want so far. But do you know, I am absolutely sickened. These people are not... They're sick in the head. To, to say that, that he should be impeached when there's no victim and to and to continue with this narrative that oh he should be impeached because we don't like him because he's Trump's nomination so that means that he should be impeached they are sick those people are sick in the head man to put another human being through that is just downright sick do they not understand that it could be them one day do they not realise that somebody has to come out and complain about this guy and there has to be some sort of proof to say that he did these kind of things, that, you know, back to the old allegation that, that came out a year ago? But, and you have to ask yourself, 
Why are they doing this? Well, it's simple, isn't it? Because nothing else has worked for them. They've tried to throw every bit of shit at this guy. And so far, it's just bounced off of him. And they can't stand that. So any little piece of, any little crumbs there, they're like a pack of wild animals fighting over the scraps that have been thrown by the New York Times just so that they can get rid of this guy because they don't like the fact that he's a conservative and he's pro-life. And they're saying, oh, that with him on the Supreme Court, there's going to be backyard abortions. Bullshit! You people are sick. You disgust me. I'm outraged. I'm absolutely outraged because I know what it's like to be put under false allegations. It, it wasn't sexual assault allegations, fortunately. It was physical assault allegations against a woman. And I was put through hell, and I kind of know what this guy's going through, but I was innocent. And fortunately, so common sense prevailed. In fact, I had to actually admit to a lesser charge of breaching the peace to make it go away. So I understand what this bloke's going through, and I can only imagine what his kids are going through. <sighs> I'm sorry to go off on a rant, I really am, but it, it's like, you know, th th this is... this. I can put myself in this guy's position and I am absolutely, I am sickened. Anyway, rant over. I'll leave that, that link to the description so you can see my other video on the, on, on the initial charges. Um, but by now you've probably heard about the, the original charge from a year ago, but maybe not so much about this one. So I'll try and find a link to that as well. But God, God damn it. Words fail me. I can't go on anymore, words fail me. I'm out of breath. I'm out of anger. Thanks for watching. Until next time, easy.